This tutorial is for students who are having online proctored exams in their online course. And in the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to check your computer to make sure that it's ready to use the Remote Proctor Now system, and then show you how to access a practice exam to test the system on your computer. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is to go to www.remoteproctor.com slash rpinstall. That's this link right here. And this link is going to take you to a system check. So I'm going to click Start System Check. And this is going to check my computer to make sure it's compatible to be used with Remote Proctor Now. So I'm going to follow the instructions and click Start Test. When I get to this screen, I'm going to click Allow. And now it's checking for a webcam. It's found mine on my laptop. And now it's checking my audio. And now it's testing my bandwidth. So now I've successfully passed the system check, and I'm going to click Continue. I'll be prompted to download the Remote Proctor Now system. Since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to click on this Apple icon. If I was using a PC, I would click here to download the PC version of Remote Proctor Now. So now it's going to download a file to my computer. And I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to open this file. So here it is, it's the Remote Proctor Now app, and I'm going to run this. Okay, so at this point I have Remote Proctor Now running on my computer, and it's asking me for my exam information. For the practice exam, my organization is University of Georgia. My teacher is UGA practice exam, and the exam is UGA practice exam. So these are the settings that you should pick to take the practice exam using Remote Proctor Now. And now it's asking me for my first name and last name and email address. And these are all required fields. Your phone number is an optional field. So I filled out this information. I've selected my organization, my exam sponsor, which is UGA practice exam, and then the exam, which is UGA practice exam. So now I'm going to click Next. And at this point, Remote Proctor is going to ask me to verify my identity. So at this point, the software is going to ask me to do a room scan, and this is to demonstrate that I don't have any materials in the room that I can be using to get answers for the exam. So since I'm on a laptop, I'm actually going to have to pick it up and use my webcam to scan around the room. So I'm going to do that now. First, I, I click on the Start Scan button, and now I'm going to scan my environment. Once I'm done scanning the room, I'm going to click Stop Scan. And now it wants to take a picture of me to verify my identity. So I'm going to make sure that my face is in the square and then click Take Photo. And now it's asking me to confirm that this photo is clear and centered and can be used to confirm my identity. So I'm selecting this box and then clicking Confirm Photo. Now it's uploading my photo. 
and the last step is to show my photo ID and at this point you need to get your photo ID and actually hold it up to the webcam so it shows on the screen and I'm going to do that now. So I want to make sure that it's clear and focused so you can see my picture and my name. And again I need to check this box to say yes the photo is clear and legible and it can be used to confirm my identity and then I'm going to click the confirm photo button. At this point the remote proctor now program is going to send me to ELC new. So I have four minutes to log into ELC new and locate my practice exam. So I'm going to click OK. And now you can see I'm logging into ELC New just like I normally would. So I'm going to go to my class. And then I'm going to go and find the practice exam. Practice exam for online proctoring. So you can see it says a password is required to start your attempt. What you have to do at this point is click this insert exam password at the top of the screen and remote proctor will insert the password for you. So I've inserted the password and now I'm going to click start quiz. And now I can take the practice exam. So I'm going to take the practice exam and submit it. And now I'm done. Once I've finished taking the uh, practice exam, I can click this close button and remote proctor will shut down. So this is how you do a system check on your computer, install remote proctor, and use it to take a practice exam in order to prepare for taking online proctored exams in your online course. Thank you.